producers need to know, producers need to know everything you do affects other parties. There's other people involved in this song. So when you're contemplating a buyout, when you're contemplating a buyout from one of these vultures, just remember that you may you may fuck over the artist that made this like beautiful piece of art that actually could take you to different stratospheres. Like you, you know, if, and if you don't know, and if you don't know that there's a, there's an underlying song that's like becoming viral and it's like becoming like a piece of like, it's, it, it's, it's, it's having its moment in music. Um, and if you don't know, regardless, you should you should never just, just sign a work for hire buyout agreement with any label or with any A&R without consulting, like, you know, having, having legal representation or yeah. like hitting up beat stars. Cause we, we literally have been, we have like five or six cases just in the last like three months, four months where we're fighting to get our producers rights back. And we're doing this like pro bono. We're not charging, you know, we're not charging our, but we're doing it because we, we, we just, we can't, we can't see, um, we just can't see our producers go through this type of like heartache too. And it's, it's like, and it just, we, we care about, we care about them so much that we're like, nah, man, like, and these are big songs. Like we, we're having to fight for rights on, on songs that, you know, that were released by Pop Smoke, by Rich the Kid, um, Cardi B, um, what's his name? Hey. Uh, um, what's the, 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 uh, the, the rainbow hair dude, whatever the fuck that dude's name is. Um, Six, nine. Yeah, six, like all these guys. Like we're we're fighting we're fighting against all these like commercial releases that have been released without without our producers' um, you know um, beats being cleared for most for most times. Wow. Yeah. Can, can you can you talk specifically about because a producer might hear this and say, well, they bought the license, so they're good. They're good for a certain amount of streams. I could go ahead and sell this. Like they might not know. You say right. that it affects the artist, but what does that mean? Like how does it affect the artist? I think that people need to, to know that. Well, the non-exclusive doesn't, doesn't protect, um, doesn't like, it doesn't protect against someone that's trying to acquire all the master and, and, and publishing rights, you know? So there, there, there is, you know, there's the ability for the producer always, we want to give them the freedom to be able to sell, you know, the exclusive, the exclusive rights and, um, you know, to, to a bigger, to a bigger label situation. So they have to like, just keep in mind that even if you are selling non-exclusively, you know, the moment you, you start dabbling, you know, and doing like these more strategic kind of deals outside of the platform, you could be affecting, like, you could be affecting your customers and you got to make sure that you got to make sure whatever exclusive or whatever, like work for higher deal, you got to make sure that in that agreement, all of the licenses that you sold prior are honored. You have to. And that's what's happening. These work for hire agreements are basically, you know, just like Xing out and not honoring all of the other like non-exclusive licenses. And um, and so they're putting in clauses and they're putting in all the, all, all these kind of crazy language that we don't control because it's not happening on our platform. Most of the time guys, and we're seeing, and listen, we're, what is happening right now is just so beautiful too, because we've been part of some transactions with the majors where, we have producers, I wish I could say their names, but I guess, I don't know, I don't think it's, uh, well, I'll say their name, whatever. And I don't think they're gonna get mad. Like Mixtape Soul, okay? Mixtape Soul has, has, a, has a beat that one of the majors is dying to license, to have, they wanna own it, right? And Mixtape Soul is one of the biggest, you know, biggest producers on BeatStars. And they're like, yeah, we're not selling this exclusively to you guys. And we're not doing no work for hire. No, we're not doing complete buyouts. We're not doing all this. So we pushed and finally just got to the point where the major label was like, okay, we'll just buy a non-exclusive from you with, with, these, with these rights and terms in the agreement, just like everyone else on the platform. So now we're seeing major labels by not being, being happy with purchasing non-exclusive licenses from our producers and okay with honoring all of the other like non-exclusive licenses that exist and allowing the producer to continue selling that beat non-exclusively. Oh, and so think, this could be the future of the music industry. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. 